Well, the summer for our senior year of college, we were just back in Washington, D.C. for summer vacation. And like most college students, we were just trying to think of what are we going to do to make some money this summer. And we had always been playing the resume game to try and build up our resume so we could get jobs when we graduated from college. And Omar, my business partner, his mom had a furniture store in an old beat up cargo van that she let us borrow. And we said, OK, we'll go around town and do some jobs with this cargo van. And we put flyers in mailboxes that said college hunks hauling junk. We were obviously not very modest at the time. We thought it was a catchy way to make the phone ring. You know, I think Nick and I really complement each other. I'm, I'm uh, much more of kind of the visionary uh, leader in the com company. I, I say, you know, this is where we need to go. Um, but Nick is really the X and his o X's and O guy. You know, he rallies the troops. He, he looks at kind of things on a micro level and also at, at the big picture. <laughs> Well, you know, I think any business owner uh, creates the business in their own light, in their own image. And so the business and the culture that is created from, from the business owner or the entrepreneur is a reflection of their own personal values. So, you know, how do we make the environment fun, enjoyable for people to be there? You know, we create competitions, we create rewards, recognition opportunities. Uh, all of that goes into having people want to make the company vision come to light. It's super fun, um, almost kind of compared to a fraternity. A lot of the guys that don't even know each other eventually end up working here and integrating and hanging out on the weekends and doing stuff away from the job that uh, it really means a lot, kind of see that camaraderie that the guys have and it shows on the jobs. And, you can tell when somebody's really wanting to help somebody else out, like watch out, watch your step, this, that, and the other. It goes a long way to have a really good bond with your employees. Why create an environment or a business that's dull or that people don't want to enjoy being at? And you know, if you're not having fun with what you do, you shouldn't be doing it. So that's really why fun has been such a key component of building our business. It's like there's no other reason to be in business if you're not going to be having fun doing it. Nick is a guerrilla market. I can tell you a story that I happened to be at the ribbon cutting of their new office in Ybor City in Tampa, Florida, and uh, the mayor was there. And at the same time, Nick had recently bought a home on Bayshore Boulevard, a prominent, you know, busy, visible uh, main thoroughfare in Tampa. And uh, the mayor, who I don't think was kidding, <laughs> said, Nick, you know, I think this means now you're not going to have your signs all over Bayshore Boulevard, because before he was living on Bayshore Boulevard, he was simply plopping the signs down. He, he, he's a great guerrilla marketer. He's always getting the brand out um, and, and doing it in appropriate ways to the right audience. Uh, um, and it, it's great to see. It's, it's all about you know getting the people to visit your website. It's all about getting the people into your store. It's all about the people getting the people to pick up the phone. And if those are those if those actions are taking place, then you're being successful with your marketing. What I've learned from Nick with regards to marketing is to always be marketing. Pretty much everything you do, uh, buy a new building, do a grand opening, you always make things big. Don't hold yourself back from the different types of marketing strategies or approaches that you might be willing to take. We want to be recognized as the flagship brand for moving and hauling services. We want to be what McDonald's is to hamburgers, what Dunkin Donuts is to donuts and coffee. We want to be that to moving and hauling services within the next 10 years and ultimately be able to plug other concepts into our infrastructure that we've built from a call center and franchising perspective.